Have you ever wondered if van life is possible in South Africa? We are Michael and Acacia traveling South Africa full time in our self converted van Yeti. Heading to our campsite, we made a pit stop for lunch at a pot stall. Pot stalls are farm stalls along the roads with fresh produce from nearby, pickled goods, or perhaps quirky artifacts. We love finding these to support local and grab some fresh veggies. This week we're going to share an epic campsite with you as well as give you some insight into what it's like living in a van in South Africa. We have been living in our van for six months already. Time flies when you're having a good time. Since it's illegal to wild camp in South Africa, we always book into campsites. We find campsites on Iverlander the app or searching on Google. We have a full list of all the campsites we have visited on our website. We'll link that below. We arrived to our campsite just outside of Citrusdale. Blunkwater has nice grassy sites along a little stream. One of our favorite parts of van life is the ease of setting up when we get to new places. It takes about five minutes to level the van, lay out our mat, put up an outside table, and then we have all the comforts of a normal home. One challenge as digital nomads working on the road full time is signal. Often we are in remote areas like this campsite, which has no signal. Some camps have Wi-Fi, but often isn't strong enough to upload a YouTube video. We have a wireless Vodacom Wi-Fi router that we generally use, but when there's no signal, we have to try new solutions. We grabbed our bikes and cycled closer to the town in search of signal. Loading, three Ks. We're currently trying to upload this week's YouTube video. <laughs> we just took a cycle up the mountain to try to find some signal. We're not winning just yet, but <laughs> It says we got signal, but it's not really loading, so we might have to cycle a bit more. <laughs> Lucky we got these cool e-bikes from Titan, <laughs> making life a lot easier. <laughs> so I'm busy adding some tags here. In case it's getting us some signal. <laughs> At least we have a good view of the mountains. So that's it. We managed to get the video up. Um, so. Go watch it if you haven't watched it. Uh, we went to Italy. Um, yeah, did a little travel video. Thanks for getting signal. <laughs> Time to head back to the van and cook up some supper. After a morning of work, we took the afternoon off for a poiki. A poiki is a traditional South African meal cooked in a cast iron pot with three legs over coals on the fire. The van life community is growing in South Africa. It's an amazing way to travel and spend time with other like-minded people. Van life is definitely possible in South Africa and we plan to continue for quite some time. Supper's ready. Supper's ready, yay. This is a great communal dish to share, so we spent the evening with awesome road trip around the fire chatting and eating good food. Good morning, we had a nice relaxing morning here at camp. And now it's time to pack up as we hit the road and we're moving to a new camp today. We're heading to Algeria campsite, it's a Cape Nature Reserve, so see you guys there. This will be next week's film as we make our way deep into the Cedarburg. Make sure to subscribe to get notified as we post weekly videos just like this.
inspiring you to get outdoors and travel local, and covering epic campsites, bucket list hikes and must stops along the way. We hope to have you join the ride. See you guys next week.